Hello everyone and welcome back. It's Chuck Thunder. We're back with an episode of our Let's Play series, I guess, or just, I don't know, checking in on me and what I'm doing with this tune sort of series. I don't know, but whatever. Welcome back for checking in with me. It's Chuck Thunder and we are going to tell you what I've been up to with this tune. Um, so, like I said, last week or a couple weeks ago when we had our uh, boost, I was leveling my handicraft skill and I've gotten a rank 5 and I have a plus 1 boost. So, I'm almost a level 6, which is great. Um, so, just kind of like recap what I have been doing. Let's see here. Uh, let's go to my seasoning books. So, just as a recap to everybody, once I got to level 2, which for me was easy because I already had a plus 1 item, but if you level 1, I processed lumber from... What place was it? From Las Palmas. Picked up wood there and processed wood into lumber until I hit level 2, which was really fast. And then from there, I moved to the seasoning book, um, which you can look, to look up these to find out where you get them from. I went to the seasoning book, and I did olives, and olives were found in Palma. And then I moved from olives to almonds, which are also in Palma. And then I moved, I pretty much did this, and then as soon as I had enough, you can do everything you need here, all in Palma and Barcelona. So I did herb salt. And that happened to actually be really profitable because that was a rare trade good. And I did all that until I hit level 4. Then I did apple vinegar. I took a chariot from Marseille to Calais in northern France. And then I picked up the dried apples there. Did that until I was level 5. And then I did a back and forth between apple vinegar and white vinegar until I hit level 6. Now, I'm close to level 6 right now, so I'm not going to hit level 6 doing that. I'm just going to return to doing um, herb salts, probably just for the sake of keeping things simple until I hit level 6. Since it's really easy to do it, it's right here in the Seville portion of my um, uh, my world here. So, Alright, so now that I've gone and given you that update, um, that's pretty much what I've been up to. Um, I have been doing a little bit of shipbuilding. Um, I think I just commissioned a ship, actually, which is why I only have 17,000 ducats on me. So I am waiting to do more of that. Um, I just hit level... Three with that. So, slow process, but it is a working progress. One second, gotta let my cat in. scratching at the door because I accidentally locked him out. Alright, so we are now going to continue to hit level 6 so I can move on to making what's the next on the list after level 5? Level 6. Well, it'll be level 6, but then I'll have the plus 1 boost. And then, it'll be really easy I can make wine vinegar because I'll be level 7 and I can make wine vinegar from wine right here in Seville. And I would do that until I hit level 8. Or nine even, and then I can move on to what could I do next? Level nine. These are just wood boards. There we go, armor smith techniques. And then I will do that until I can be able to make these iron boots and iron gloves. Now I know there's more to be made out there. I have yet to find what book uh, path I want to go down with casting. I'm sorry, with um handicrafts. Um, I might just do it to supplement my casting skill because I will want to make cannons and things. But, you know, for the most part, that's pretty much been my plan. You can make some money doing armorsmith uh, skill because if you can make high quality iron gloves, iron boots, and such like that, you can get um, uh, like level 100 defense boots or, boots or something like that. Like, you won't get it by luck, but you get high good chance of making a really good pair of iron gloves or boots. And you can sell those to people who use them in um, PvP and PvE, pretty much. So, that's the idea. So, that is... Oh, I keep forgetting what I'm doing over at the bank. Talking about what I'm doing, but I'm not actually doing it. So, while we're here, we are going to go get stuff from our... 
farm. Oh, I need some money in order to upgrade, so let's go get some money first. Let's take out 600. To fill up. And now it's fully developed. Oh, another thing we're also kind of working on is we went back to college and we got another, we went back up to um, Oxford and we picked up another set of um, things to do for college and we're working on those, getting the ones that are most relevant to me. Um, this one's sailing around with caution so you don't take ambush battles, so it's pretty much what I've been doing with that. Um, since we don't have a boost this week, let's go ahead and use one. Do I want extra experience or just want extra skill? Oh, I only have skill for five days. Well then, here's increased fame, tech points, experience for 30% for seven days, fame for 30% for an hour. I actually don't have skill proficiency. Well, that kind of stinks. I don't think I have any others in the bank. No, nope, not in there. What about in quarters? No. Nope. Oh, look at that. A guidebook outline the skills required for a soldier to, other than shipbuilding. Increase plus three for a day. So, interesting. Battle skills get plus three for a day. It's not bad. Struggling along the acquisition of battle text. I don't know anything about that. So, nope, nothing that boosts my skill for this. So, if we did anything, we do experience boost, but I'm not really doing anything that, like, particularly gives a lot of experience right now. Um, so, that's not really too helpful. Go ahead and turn these logs into lumber or into deck brushes, whichever we want to do. I usually do lumber first, and if there's any leftovers, I turn it into deck brushes, but that's it. And then we'll go ahead and turn smelting. We'll go smelt some steel. Now, I don't, I'm not in a... I'm already ranked 10, so this is kind of moot. This is just to use the materials and sell them for a higher profit. Um, rank 10 when you're not having, in a casting job means nothing, really. Um, okay, and then we can do weapon manufacturing. We could make a couple of two-handed swords. And that's it. Because I can't make anything else because I used up all the iron. Yeah. Alright, so we sell you what I just made. Steel's worth nothing, apparently. Whatever. Alright, so that's simple enough. And I will show you the herb salt method thing I was doing until we hit level 6. And that will be pretty much our episode today because I'm not really planning on doing much else. Like I said, I, I am still doing shipbuilding kind of like passively just because it's something that you can do while sailing around. It's not like something I'm focusing on. It's going to be the long game for this character that I'm focusing on that. I haven't gotten a shipbuilding job yet. Um, so I'm not too worried about it actually so once I get a shipbuilding job then I'll be more concerned with it but I, I have not uh, done that I figured right now anything I do could be incidental because I'm focusing on ranking other things at the moment so I'll go ahead I could change my ship now too I have enough skill on uh, emergent stuff so I can do the big trading carrick which has more storage space than um, the rowing machine here but I'm still working on ranking my um, rowing skill so I'll just keep on doing that could use the grad palaka which I have in the past before I might sell the graduation palaka just because I'm not a huge fan of it you know, it's a little slow of a ship this is the one downfall of this is there's a lot of ca uh, sailors inside of here so Really, just a little too much. So we're just we're just going to go with what we've been doing, and then we're going to get sailing. Ten days is more than enough to get to Palma. And 
caution, frugality, and rowing. And, oh, you know what? I need to work on fishing. Because one of the other things that's also on my mind to do is to get um, another really important skill um, for a tune once I hit levels for it is management. Um, so I really need to get my storage level to level 3, and um, I'm on the way there, but I need to catch fish in order to do that. So, um, I might start doing, yeah, I just might start doing frugality for now, and just start focusing on fishing. Because even if it's only a few fish here and there, again, I'll get to level 3 really quickly, and then I don't have to worry about it anymore, because then I can go get management from, um, someone else, from where it comes from, which is Veracruz. So, something I need to focus on. Did I already discover Veracruz? I don't think I have. Yeah, Veracruz is like over here somewhere. I don't have all of the um, maps uh, unlocked yet either, so that might be something I need to work on too. A lot to do with this tune, a lot to be thinking about. Let's just focus on the things I could do rather easily right now, which is still ranking up my handicraft skill, ranking up my storage skill, getting the management skill, and then from there, we can probably do some long-term uh, long, long goals of unlocking the rest of the port permits. Because I would like to do some of that. It's unfortunate because you got to do like all the other quests in order to do it, but I'll find out where I am with this tune and continue going. I think I'm, let's see, we can see here. I just haven't explored any of these. Yeah, I just don't have pretty much the East Asia and South America port permits yet. I'll have to look into it. All something I'm going to do eventually. Once I have this tune fully unlocked with the world, then I can start taking him to my spice runs. Actually, I could probably take him to spice runs now. He just can't enter those areas. Like, he can't enter the cities, right? That's the only catch. But, not really my goal right now. So, um, that's one thing that's changed. If you had been paying attention, I did get a second aid. This aid I am working on leveling up. Um, gonna need some, uh, leveling him so I can get all the things that I want from him. I don't know exactly what yet is going to be required because I haven't really, like, spent much time looking them up. But anyways... So that's that's been um, my plan with this tune for a while now. Casting handicrafts is what's giving me that boost. It's going to break soon, but that's why I want to get it up to level 7 as soon as possible. Because as soon as I get it to level 7, I'm pretty much in a position of I, I don't need help. You know what I mean? Like this could be my main focus on grind, is just producing oil vinegar. And then if I get to the Caribbean, then I can, yeah, I can make coconuts or Africa. I can use coconuts to make coconut vinegar. Keep collecting fish. Let's keep doing it. So everybody, just want to wish everyone a happy holiday. It's coming up one week away. Might not get another episode recorded before the holiday. Um, maybe Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday of next week. Um, today is Saturday, so maybe one more before the actual holiday, but that's probably it. Because um, you know, holidays make things busy and you're focused on doing a lot of other things with family, and so this hasn't really been my main focus for a little while now. Plus, I've been playing other games, too. Let's be honest. Alpha 20 came out with um, 7 Days to Die, so I've been playing around with that and see how that goes, uh, which will probably be what I play after I do this episode recording. Because, you know, this isn't a bonus weekend or anything like that, so there's really no incentive for me to spend too much of my time grinding skills when I could be grinding it for half the time. Oh, look at that. 
her assignable trait value has gone up. Let's see what that that is. Did it go over to a place where I can use it? Hmm. Oh, that was for Victor. Sorry, it wasn't for the other guy. He's got nine assignable traits. I just don't know what to do with him yet. Alright, so let us switch over to the harbor. Thanks. That was my my mother in law <laughs> dropping off my wife's shoes and she left her stuff downstairs in the main part of the house. Alright, so let's see, what can we buy here? I knock something over. Oh, I live in a place where there's a lot of stuff stacked on top of things. Ah, oh, there we go. All right. Now let's see. I can do olives. I could do almonds. And this is why I said I love this place because then I could do oregano. And then what was the other one? I needed to make herb salt, oregano, salt, oh, and parsley. And then while we're here, we'll just go ahead and use this. Get rid of the fish. And we'll do the sardines. And we'll do the horse mackerel. And we'll sell those fish off. Even they don't earn me much here, it's fine. Now we'll go top off on the tavern. And we'll get inside of here. Top off on food. Okay. While we're sitting here, let's go ahead and do the easy one and stack up back up on food I made this food up with my other tune and gave it over to him as spare food to give to this tune to use for this purpose okay back to this finish up the olives do the almonds while we're here too because that won't take long alright and I can't make the herb salt yet because I gotta go get the salt from Barcelona so we'll top off on our vigor when we get there oh, I already did that set sail let's top off on some provisions and Barcelona has the salt Oops, I'm doing all the wrong skills again. It's not a very long trip, but... So, what I wanted to also see here, because I do want to get a job um, for shipbuilding uh, right now. At some point, I want to unlock that. So, I think I've talked about this before, the shipbuilding jobs that are out there. Let's see. Shipwright, arms dealer, tactician, and guardian. Um, let's see. What skills the arms dealer has? Because that might make the most sense for me. Procurement, provisions, accounts, weapons, trading, wear, strain, casting, caution, and shipbuilding. Yeah, because I do casting. And I do primarily casting. Um, tactician might be handicrafts. Oh, that's shipbuilding, casting as well. Mine detection, gunfire, repair, question tactics, smiling, 
So not tactician. Arms dealer might be my favorite because it's the shipbuilding accuracy, kind of the caution pathology. Yep. So not not guardian. And then the shipwright one has shipbuilding as an expert uh, skill, obviously, instead of a favorite skill. But that's and the casting as a favorite skill. So yeah, th that that would be primarily the one I would want to do. Um, requires a class change requirement of 1899, total levels of 42, which I do have. The cost is normally 1.3 million, but I need to get endorsement, strategy, and tactics certificate. Located in Lisbon, I get the quest latest tactics. So, we'll see. Maybe that's something we'll look into very shortly, and then when I do, I will sure to re be recording it. The other time I've had to do something like that where once I get the management skill I might want to get the management quest line done so I can get the management skill um, uh, up leveled faster so I can use um, ship skills and things like emergency acceleration and things like that because I also need navigation because that's another skill we need and where do we get navigation management A battle skill. I don't remember what skill level, what skill type it is. No, it must be an adventure one. And navigation. I can actually go get navigation anytime from Cabral and Bahia. So that might be something we do very, very soon. Um, I don't have any skills now. I don't know if I want to drop any. Like geography. I guess I really don't need I guess I could drop geography but then I would have to come back and get to level 2 again but that's really not that hard drop geography if I had to I could drop oh I have an extra lang language here I don't need I could drop French yeah okay yeah I'm gonna drop French so that, that helps maybe we could do that like really quickly while we're here Let's go get the salt first. I'm not going to bother with getting the metal stuff because, like I said, I'm not going to be able to change anything about my skill if I buy lead and all that stuff. So we're just going to buy the salt we need. And we're going to sell the other things we don't need, like the olive oil we just made, the remaining almond, the almond oil we just made. We'll turn that fish into a fish. Yeah. I like how processing, you know, fish turns it into fish. Very, very good. Very, very cheap. One fish translated into fish. And then we'll sell that fish. And then we can actually do our herb salt situation. Because we have everything. And boom. Very close to leveling up. And look at that. It's a rare trade good. This is what I was saying. It's pretty good to sell right now, so that is going to be my focus today. Oh, I might spend a little bit more time doing this, longer than I had thought I was going to do. <coughs> this may be a good way to get some experience, so maybe... Do I have one? Oh, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. We'll do that now. It's going to be a good day. Um, okay, so while we're here, we're just also going to go to the Luis de Leon here, and we are going to lose a skill point. No, let's get loose French because I don't think we need it right now. Um, and I'm going to go get navigation. <clears throat> because navigation, I think, levels passively. So, yeah, might as well just have it. Um, and in case you're wondering what it does, navigation says bring out the hidden performance of particular vessels through a high level of skill and handling of a ship. So, as you drive a ship around, it's an automatic thing. So, go ahead and lose French. Uh, yeah, I don't know any skills, so we'll have to go to Bahia at some point. Which I don't know where Bahia is. It's not in the east. I think it's over here somewhere. We'll look that up. Let's see. Google that real fast. Bahia. Where is it in the map? P 
people keep messaging so much on my phone. UWO map. Find out where Bahia is. Gosh, he's on the phone. It's so small. Brunei. Bahia, South America? That might be where it is, actually. Yeah, it's just south of Pernambuco. So it's over. Here somewhere. Over here somewhere. And I don't think I've unlocked all of this yet. So that's something we're going to have to do. Wow. This is why I'm saying this game can get really out of hand really quick with the amount of running around that people do. I have to do to get things and get places. So, yeah, I think we're going to have to spend some time. Um, that might be the main thing. There are certain things you just got to do in a certain order, and one of these things is just to unlock all of the... Uh, um, unlock all of the port permits that you possibly can. Because it just takes so long. It's probably the most grindy part of the entire game is unlocking port permits. And if you don't know where they are, um, yeah, you'll be doing it for a long time on how to get them done. So I have done a series on them on how to do it. I did it with my Gonzo Rivera character, um, and I don't remember exactly how to do it either myself right now. So I will actually go watch them, rewatch my own video to learn how to do it. So I need to make sure I have unlocked everything. <clears throat> um, is there a way to check? No, oh, no, no, don't halt. I'm wondering, like, besides just looking at your map, is there a way to know how far you've gone t to unlock something without having to go all the way to the place and then finding out you can't? My guess is I could probably get here judging by the color that it's lit up here. I think I've already unlocked the east coast of um, South America, which means I could probably get to Bahia. Um, and then there's a process to unlocking the rest of this. I just don't remember how. Let's see. I'll look it up even here. Uncharted UWO Port Permit Guide. Let's see here. Guide to Unlocking Port Permits. Alright, so... Spanish players. East Africa, Red Sea we've done. The Indian Ocean we've pretty much done. Caribbean. Panama Canal we still have to do. So Oceania, West Coast of Latin America, East Coast of Latin America. So yeah, there's there's a process to it. Um, Africa I've already done, South Atlantic Ocean I've already done, East Africa I've already done, Red Sea I don't think I've done, I'll have to double check if I've done the, let's see here, I forget what I did with the link. Well, looks like I'm rewatching my videos because I seem to have lost my link that his gives me the the easy path of doing it. I'm pretty sure this is it. I like I'm looking at my phone right now and I'm seeing what's here. How to get the board permits. Board permits unlocked by fame. 
Northern European Pyramid, the North Atlantic Pyramid, the West Mediterranean, East Mediterranean, West Africa, South Atlantic, East Africa, Red Sea, Indian Ocean, Caribbean. And then there are quests that need to be unlocked by quest, uh, permits that need to be unlocked by quest, which is the East Coast of Latin America, which I'm pretty sure I did. Southeast Asia, I still need to do. Oceania, I haven't done yet. The West Coast of Latin America, I haven't done yet, which means I can't even get to Veracruz yet, so that's another important one. The Panama Canal, I haven't done that. Suez Canal, I haven't done yet. East Asia so yeah um, we're gonna take a little ride out to the east coast of Latin America to see if I have unlocked those places if I haven't then you know where I need to be so another time another video not right now because right now I am focused on doing this uh, rare trade good stuff right now because it is a good time to do it um, let's see yeah so we're gonna keep on doing this whole ordeal to level up the uh, we got oregano salt and parsley so I don't need to buy more of the other things uh, right now the limiting factor is oregano anyway so we'll just do that and then we'll go ahead and use okay we're gonna use some baller vigor I'm go to the tavern and do it all again so this is all you're missing guys like I said I, I have to keep track of what it is I'm doing every episode because I tend to forget so right now this will be it for today um, and at the end of the time I feel like doing this I'm going to auto sail my boat across the Caribbean there to the Caribbean and see if I can get to um, uh, Bahia to get navigation that will be pretty much the only thing I'm really focused on doing with this tune today probably just do one more run just to get to level 5 of this and then call it a life oh wait I know what I need to do so I'll use the last of this go ahead and use it on the last of the almonds Oh, leveled up see and that was my main focus and then we can do some of this all at once and we'll go see what I could sell it for her here sold it for like 5,000 and change in Barcelona so we'll see what we could sell for here Yeah, about the same. Cool beans. Make a good chunk of money. And we're getting some good experience. About 800, so... Between the two, we got about 1,500 experience in that. I'm not going to put a dent in anything here, but... Hey, there we go. And that's it. We're going to stop for that, and we're going to get our experience boost now for adventure, because we're going to sail a good distance away. And cool, we'll probably level up an adventure, too, while we're at it. Maybe even battle some things along the way that we can afford to battle. Um, I'm going to use the last of this. And we are going to get set sail in here. Anything else on us that we need to get rid of? No... And off to uh, see if Veracruz works for us because we'll be pretty much um, kind of SOL if we get there and it doesn't work out for us. A little sad. And I might switch to a different ship um, when I reach my checkpoint here, which will be Las Palmas. Caution to rank up that. Frugality. Not really needed right now. We'll do fishing while we're here and that. And how close are we to doing our research info? We might 500 before we leave. We'll see. Gosh, so many things. Step one, get to Las Palmas. If I hit the research info for this, then I'll go get a new uh, sailing uh, focused um, research for Oxford. And then I'm going to go for back to this Palmas to then leave from there to try to get to Veracruz to get navigation. <sighs> and then from there, 
we'll see what happens next because if that doesn't work out then our main focus for this tune is going to be to maybe take a little bit of hiatus um, and do the quest that I need to in order to um, unlock the rest of the port permits that matter um, you know to do the uh, whole circumnavigation quest I don't know but to at least unlock all of the map that's something I need to focus on East Coast of Latin America I'm pretty sure I already did and Southeast Asia I didn't do so we'll have uh, our work cut out for us Wow I'm looking at this now so if I've already got the East Coast of Latin America but I don't have the Southeast Asian port or the Oceania port then I can't even do the west coast of Latin America port either so a lot of things to be done um, but I'm pretty sure I've unlocked the east coast of Latin America which means that I can um, at least get to Veracruz or not Veracruz, um, Bahia and if I can't then we gotta do the east coast of Latin America cru cruise the east coast of Latin America uh, quest and that is going to be called obtained from my castle and it's called surveying the new world I swear to gosh I did this I swear to god I did I've done it so many times now with all my different tunes that I, I swear I gotta have done it but I'm pretty sure I have in either case maybe hmm I feel like we're headed over there. Maybe we should stop and see if this quest even pops up in, in Seville first. Because that might be a thing that changes the way we do it. But nothing too crazy. Well, you guys don't need to watch me do this. That is just the update for this channel, where the episode is going, where I'm going to be doing a few things, what I've been focusing on, and what... Um, what we might be working on for this tune in the future so if you have any questions or you want to reach out to me and maybe chat in game or play with me be my guest I'm all, always open to playing with some new people I've got invited to join some discords and new companies so something I'm looking forward to doing and I hope that we all can uh, chat along again one day or maybe in a discord or even uh, just playing game together it's been great thanks for swinging by it's Chuck Thunder and appreciate all, all of you who watch uh, please like and subscribe if you like what I do here Appreciate it, guys. Take care.